Now to a story about a group that you've probably never heard about, but they make a big difference in the city. The Night Ministry in Bucktown has been helping the homeless for nearly half a century. It was among the first Chicago nonprofits to bring services directly to those in need. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemagneau shows us how the work of this organization is transforming lives. And it's night ministry. If Members of the night ministry's street medicine program visit the most vulnerable of Chicago's homeless population, those living in encampments, parks, and under viaducts. It's when you just talk to the doctor on the phone. The organization started offering telemedicine appointments for psychiatric help right on the spot during the pandemic. Yeah, I can look for a job now. And Teresa had been a street medicine client. After nearly a decade of being on the streets, Teresa says the organization changed her life by finding her a place to live. They did for me in two months what I couldn't do in eight years. The Night Ministry's health outreach bus provides counseling, free health care, clothing, hygiene products, and meals for those in need. It's out day and night, six days a week, in underserved Chicago neighborhoods like South Shore, Garfield Park, and Pilsen. For a lot of the individuals whom we serve, the, the health outreach bus is one of the few consistent things in their life that they can depend on. The night ministry's work doesn't end on the street. I'm inside the overnight emergency shelter, and this is where homeless young people between the ages of 18 and 24 can come to stay, no questions asked. There are 21 beds in here. Every single one of them is filled each night, and they can also receive any service that they need. The organization was the winner in the social services category for the Make It Better Foundation Philanthropy Awards in 2021. The foundation is dedicated to amplifying the work of nonprofits in Chicago. Somebody comes to us, what brought you here is not as important as what the future can hold. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. The night ministry recently started outreach on the CTA red and blue lines. In fact, they helped a man who'd called the CTA trains his home for 25 years. They helped him find housing.